remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So go nowhere. Let's create. So what we got here is a tomahawk steak, and this is going to be bison. And this one, what you need to know about this one is a couple of things. Number one is a two inches thick. So you have to consider that when you're cooking. And the second thing you need to take into consideration is that you have to have this out of the refrigerator for, you know, two or three hours. This one was for a little bit over three hours because you want the heat transfer to transfer correctly when you're cooking this baby. And I'm going to do this one on the stove. Extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to rub this baby because uh, they are very lean, the meat. And I want to make sure it's rubbed in every side with some extra virgin olive oil. You flip it, do the same in the other side. Push this baby up. Second thing I'm going to do I'm going to keep it simple. I'm only going to use salt. And I'm going to go with sea salt. And I'm going to go with the birch smoke sea salt. I ordered this uh, online from Iceland. But you can use any type of salt. Just, uh, I'm trying to be slightly sophisticated. That's all. I, I want to add some flavor. Rub this baby nicely. Turn it around. And you also want to put some on the side. Yeah, you be generous. So I'm going to go with the cast iron griddle. And I do have, I'm going to use some extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to niche in. I do have all kind of extra virgin olive oil here. And I have this preheated for about three minutes. And what I'm going to do, medium high. I'm going to make sure because uh, the Asian bison tend to be lean. I'm going to be putting sufficient oil. Not a lot, but sufficient. And I'm going to put this baby here. Remember, two inches thick. That means I'm going to cook one side, the first side for five minutes. Then I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to see how much it cooks in the five minutes and determine if I go with four minutes on the other side. For five minutes here. While this cooking, I wanted to tell you something very interesting. Uh, last year I cooked a gigantic beef tomahawk steak, and I had to go reverse sear. I have a video in my description that shows you how to cook in your kitchen a huge uh, tomahawk steak, beef. And that baby had meat in the bone. It was a long bone. It was a big meat. Reverse sear technique. Go to my description. Click that link and take a look at that one too. But for now, I'm going to cook this. And as this cook, I want to show you something too. I have a butter mix that I put some ingredients to add flavor. I have a link in my description on how to do that too. It's very simple. Take, take about 50 seconds to put together. Go there and check it out. Now I'm going to cook this side for four minutes at least, but I'm going to keep it close to what? And now that I flip it, I'm going to start taking care of business using my butter mix.
and I'm going to do some rosemary. I'm going to put it here for now just to give it that aromatic. And what you do is you get some of that juice. See how beautiful it looks? Also put a little bit in the bun. Halfway through in the two minute mark, I give it a little turn. I did the same at the top, by the way, in the halfway mark. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to put this baby to rest. And what you're going to do here, you're going to pour an aluminum foil. So the heat stays within. And you let this baby rest for about five to eight minutes. Beautiful. 